Hi there! Today we are going to take a look at Google Slides and how to incorporate basic animations into your presentations. First, let's take a look at what animations can do for our presentations. I have a very basic three slide presentation already loaded into slides here. So let's set up some basic animations to show you how this works. Let's select our first bullet point and then go up here to Insert and click on Animation. In the window that opens, you have a couple of options that pop up. First, we can select how we would like to transition from slide 1 to slide 2. I'm going to select Gallery, and then for the duration of that transition, I'm going to choose 1 second. Then I can hit Apply to all slides to apply that to all transitions. Once I enter the slide, you can choose the type of animation that you want to appear. I'm going to choose the Appear option, and then you can choose when it should happen, which includes on click, after previous, or with previous. With previous means it will occur at the same time as the previous transition, after previous means a delay will be inserted, and on click means it will trigger when I click to activate the animation. The By Paragraph button specifies whether you want each bullet to animate individually, or if you'd prefer the entire slide to appear at once. I'm going to click this so that they're going to each appear individually. Now let's hit play to watch how this works. Each click is going to bring up the subsequent bullet points. For slide 3, you'll notice that on the surface it looks just like slide 2. However, I've separated the first bullet point into a separate text box from the other two in order to allow us to apply different animations to each piece of text. So let's start by giving our first bullet point the same animation as before, appear, on click. Now let's click on this image and give it a different type of animation. I'm still going to choose appear, but select with previous, so it will trigger when our first text box animation triggers. I'm going to make it appear quite quickly, so it looks smooth and seamless. Now let's select the second text box and choose by paragraph, and then choose fly in on click, just to see a different type of animation. Now as I click, you'll see how we get our first animation of the text and image together, and then we have to click twice more to activate the paragraph settings of the second text box. Hopefully, this introduction to animations will give you some ideas for your next presentation. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.